Bike lanes are built to ensure safety for cyclists, but one group of bikers says that the latest one, it does the exact opposite. Bike Cleveland speaking tonight with a warning for all cyclists passing through the city. Michelle Nix joins us live downtown to highlight this concern. Michelle potentially provide an alternative as well. Good evening, Jeff. That's right. It's a bit odd that a group known for promoting cycling in Cleveland is now urging bike riders not to use a new bike lane here on the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge. The group Bike Cleveland says they were caught off guard by the installation of the new bike lane, and they say instead of safety, it leads riders on a dangerous path. I love the fact that there's a bike lane, but then once it goes into that shared traffic, it's a little unnerving because you have such busy traffic going back and forth. Christina Ziegler of Brexville and her partner rented bikes to ride from West 25th to Progressive Field, and that includes traveling over the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge. But they quickly learned why the group Bike Cleveland is now urging riders to avoid this new green highlighted bike lane on that bridge because it reportedly steers cyclists right into the path of speeding car traffic. It'd be a lot better if we can have a bike lane just to take you the whole way across the bridge. But since that's not the case, some who ride their bikes 24-7 ask, Well, what's the alternative to not using them? Bike Cleveland tells 19 News, we suggest that riders continue to use the separated bikeway on the north side of the bridge. That bike and pedestrian walkway on the north side of the bridge, we're told, is an over overwhelmingly safer option to avoid speeding cars trying to make a highway connection on the other end. Riders should carefully merge into the left turn lane or do a Copenhagen left at West 20th to connect with the bikeway. The Copenhagen left is a two-stage turn where you ride most of the way through the intersection but then stop, turn your bike in the direction you want to go and wait for the green light to proceed across Lorraine and onto the bikeway. Geneva Finken, like others on two wheels, feels the main issue is that car drivers don't see cyclists. She was recently hit by a car and broke her toe getting off the 117th Street exit ramp. There was a guy turning right and he didn't look where he went right and he ran and we both went at the same time. So, wow. Yeah. It was kind of scary. Scary is exactly how Bike Cleveland feels about the new bike lane on this bridge that could initially give riders a false sense of security. So again, Bike Cleveland says the best option is to use this bike and pedestrian walkway and bike riders can go either direction here on the north side. That's important to note. Now they have also approached the city of Cleveland about removing that bike lane because they do believe it's dangerous. The city of Cleveland is considering putting up signs to warn bike riders. Reporting live in Cleveland, Michelle Nix, 19 News.